Hi and welcome to my channel. So today I did this eye makeup look using the new Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions and the Coral Obsessions. So I skipped uh, the base in this tutorial. I just went straight to my eyes um, so we could save some time because I really wanted to focus on these new palettes. So I tried my best to use uh, shadows for, from both of them. If you want me to do more tutorials using these palettes, then please comment down below. I'm gonna so you will hear more about uh, my thoughts on how the eyeshadows perform in the end of the video. I'm super happy how this look turned out. So if you want to see how I created this eye look, then keep on watching. So I'm super excited to try out the new Huda Beauty palettes. Uh, one is called Coral Obsessions and the other one is the Gemstone Obsessions. So I haven't tried these palettes off camera so this is going to be the first time trying them out. I bought them at Cult Beauty and when I received the Gemstone palette it was crushed so I had to like do an attempt to fix it so that's why it looks like it's been used. I emailed them and they were super kind and they told me they were going to send me some new oh, ones. Yes. Let's move on to the tutorial. So I'm going to start off by applying a primer. I can't find my trusty Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden so I'm going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Uh, I haven't used it, this in a while because I prefer the Urban Decay one but I have no clue where I put it. I'm just going to apply a small amount of that. So I'm going to use a big blending brush and this is Smoky Crease by Urban Decay and I'm going to use the shade in the middle over here. It's blending really nice and I just want this to be a sheer wash of color. I don't want it to be too much. Moving on to the other eye. And I always like to drag my eyeshadow out because I like to elongate my eyes. You probably hear me say that in every video, but if you're new to my channel, maybe you don't, you don't know that about me. What I can tell about this eyeshadow though, it's that it's really sheer, uh, but that's fine because it's nice as a transition shade. I have the Desert Dusk palette, so I will compare them compare them to that palette when I'm finished with the look. And then I'm going to take this like red brick shade over here, and I'm going to apply that with a MAC 217 brush. But it's not the shade that I thought it would be. Like it's it's actually lighter than it looks in the pan. So I'm just giving the crease a little bit of depth with this shade. Then I'm gonna take my blending brush again and dip to that transition shade and just blend out the edges. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there and move on to the gem palette. Gemstone palette. I'm already giving it some nickname. I'm going to apply the eyeshadows dry first and if I think I need to wet them, I will do that. But I'm going to give them a fair shot. So I'm going to start off by using the red shade over here. And I want to do like a halo eye type of thing. And I'm just using a makeup store brush. I don't think they do this brush anymore, but just a nice packing brush. Um, okay, these shadows have a lot of fallout because I can see that they're really chunky and glittery. But I can imagine that these are good to apply with your fingers or wet. So I have actually fallout over here and I want to clean it off before it sets into my skin. It's really soft to the touch, like when you, they're really like creamy. Yes, it does work wonder with your finger. Oh, nice. Oh, it's 
super nice when you pack it on with your finger. And then I'm actually just using the same reddish shade and just applying that into the crease. I'm going to take the transition shade again uh, from the Coral Obsessions palette and just blending those edges. And then I'm going to apply that green shade in the center. And I can see that this shade has a little bit more texture, so I think that this one, hmm, I'm not quite sure if I should wet this. I'm going to try. Oh my god. I am going to wet it though for easier application. So I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Oh, and by the way, I'm using this on a smoky shader uh, Zoeva brush. Uh, Semi-Sweet Times 9 palette. And I'm going to use this burgundy shade over here. Just to give it a little bit of depth. So see how that intensified it a little bit? And just taking the blending brush and just blending the edges again. So now I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm first going to take this, the same MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit and whatever is left of that darker uh, cranberry shade or burgundy shade, I'm just going to apply. And then I'm going to take a smoky smudger brush by Urban Decay and I'm going to take the Coral Obsessions palette and I'm going to use this shade over here that we used before. This is like a perfect under eye smoky smudger pencil. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit of my um, NARS uh, soft matte concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that to just clean up a little bit of fallout that I got over there and to just perfect a little bit. And I'm just taking a tiny bit. I'm not taking much. I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and this the name had rubbed off, so but it's like a small buffing brush. And I'm just going to clean under this area over here. And then to highlight my inner corners, I'm going to use the shade over here from the Gemstone palette, which is like a lavender blue uh, eyeshadow. It has like a nice duochrome finish. And I'm just going to take that on a Bedillium Tools brush and I'm going to pop that into the inner corners. Neither of these palette has a good brow bone highlighter and this has no light shade which is a downside for me but I can live with that and this has just a bunch of metallics and no one is like fit to highlight under the brow with. So I like to use like a matte shadow to highlight my brow bone with so I'm going to just take this light shade from the MAC palette with a 248 brush by MAC as well. I'm going to apply this under the brow. And this for me makes a huge difference.
I'm going to apply some mascara and some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I applied some Ardell Demi Wispies and then some mascara on the lower lash line. I like using the Demi Wispies because they let like the makeup look show through so they don't take the attention. So I'm going to highlight a little bit with you and I'm going to use a Duo Fiber Highlighting Brush by Makeup Addiction and I'm going to use the Urban Decay uh, Sin Afterglow Palette. This has two brushes, one bronzer, and three highlighters. They're super nice. And I'm gonna use the shade called Sin today, which is also sold individually at Urban Decay. Oh, it's super nice. You don't need much, like with a little goes a long way. Then I'm going to mattify the T-zone a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I've already set my makeup with All Nighter Setting Spray, but I just want to give it some dewiness. So I'm going to use the Quick Fix by Urban Decay, which is a prep spray and a hydrating spray. And it smells like you're on a beach because it's coconut water. It's infused with coconut water, so it smells coconut. Um, so for my lips, I'm going to use my favorite lip liner by Urban Decay, which is called Broken. And I'm going to use one of the new Urban Decay glosses, which is called Hi-Fi Gloss. And I'm going to use Midnight Cowgirl, which is a nice nude. So I'm just going to apply my lip liner. And I'm actually going to draw my whole lip with this. My lips are super dry at the moment and these lip pencils are the only ones that doesn't dry out my lips and they're waterproof. And then on top I'm going to apply the Hi-Fi Shine Gloss from Urban Decay. These are new. They have a really nice one, a gold one. And I'm going to show you. Uh, over here, do you see that? It's super nice. This one is called Gold Mine. And then I have this one, which is SPL. This is my personal favorite, which is holographic. So they have like different types. They have like cream, holographic, sheer, metallic. So, and they are plumping as well and they taste really good. Oh, so nice. This lip gloss shade is perfect to use like on top of your on on top of your nudes to make them more nude, if that makes sense. So yeah. So this is the completed look. So this is the completed look. I just want to give you a quick like overview of of my thoughts and what I think about the palettes. I can't remember the price, but I think that they are around like 32 pounds because I bought them in pounds because I bought it at Cult Beauty. Um, but I think that they are great. I really like them. It's a really nice uh, package. You can see it's small, so it's it's good for travel and for me as a makeup artist I do a lot of freelance then this is perfect to have in your kit and uh, it doesn't take a lot of space but so I do think that the mattes are better in the desert dust palette than in the coral obsessions but that doesn't mean that I think that these are bad uh, I just think that they are a little bit more pigmented in the desert dust palette but uh, in the other hand I didn't use all of them so I cannot speak too much about them I like both of them, but if you are thinking about just getting one of them, I will definitely go with the gemstone. This is super nice if you like are traveling and you have your like regular mattes that you really love and you just want to throw in like a nice palette with ha which has nice toppers or nice metallic eyeshadows, then this one is definitely for you. It's it's not expensive for the good quality that you get in these shimmery shades. Um, but if you don't have like a palette with, with warm tones, then 
go ahead and use this one but if you want to have really pigmented uh, matte shadows I would actually go for the Naked Heat Petite instead because these babies right here are pigmented like this is my go-to eyeshadow palette so i'm pleased with the look and i hope you liked it please comment down below if you want me to do like more just eye makeup videos if you if you're not like into my longer videos i would like to know which ones you prefer and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and subscribe that would mean the world to me and i'll see you in my next one bye